was your emotional reaction to, to watching him go through it? Um, oh, just feel for a, an outstanding person. Um, you know, footy's a, footy's a brutal industry. Um, at some stage, pretty much everyone that's involved in the game will, will go through that. Um, but that doesn't make it, um, I mean, any, any less, less difficult, um, particularly for a person that's been involved in fo football for so long, um, has been so invested in, in becoming, you know, that, that person, a senior coach. Um, yeah, he, I thought he handled himself absolutely brilliantly. Um, but, yeah, your, your heart goes out. Was it the right decision? By the um, club and by Richardson. Yeah, look, I, I think it was. Um, we're talking about a club that's that's really impatient for success, and it's a it's a win loss industry. We know that. I mean, that doesn't detract from the fact that he's a you know, he's a great person with a with a lot of great qualities. But I, I think it's 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 clearly that the club's right to be impatient and to to want success and to want it now, um, because it is a you know we're talking about a club a club that's been really starved. So. Yeah, look, I, I think based on the on the body of work, it's the it's the right move for the club. If Richo sits down and ever has a, a, a deep reflection on his coaching, just is there an area of his coaching where he would actually put his hand up and say that worked, but that didn't work? Was there something that he didn't have that you can put a finger on or not? Um. Oh, well, only, oh, I can't speak for Richo. I mean, he, he was asked that question specifically today in terms of regrets, and he doesn't have regrets. So I think... Um, was an area that you looking at him thinking, was, that an, was there an area that he could have got better at? Um, I mean, what, what constitutes a great coach is a, is a pretty um, subjective thing. Really, isn't it? Yep. So, so where I um, my style and what I might respond to would be a, a really hard edge, really high accountability. You know, um, so I was probably a player that was um, more driven by the stick at times rather than the carrot. Richo, as a coach, probably lent more towards the carrot um, for, for players and, and, a, and a teaching style. Um, so that, that that's how I would you know have approached things. Um, but that doesn't make me right and Richo wrong. So there's always going to be mm. a, a balance that, that you find. And I, I think Richo had, had you know, that balance in, in spades. He spoke about that today, trying to find that. And he, and he never tried to be anything that he wasn't. So when, when you're hired as a coach, you're hired based on A, B, C, D. So that's, you know, that, that's who you are and that's, that's why you're in the job. Do you think last year was the telling factor? No doubt, no doubt. Um, you know, in terms, of, in terms of the build for the football club, so when Richo took over... You know, the club was in a, a really difficult situation, having deliberately, transparently bottomed out. That's, that's hard to take over, um, particularly with some of the players that had, that, had le that had left and were leaving the club through that period. Um, so four wins, six and a half wins, 12 wins, 11 wins. So the trajectory was upwards. So, so last year was the year, the four win um, plummet, really. That's, that's ultimately where the, where the pressure began. And um, this year, I think, he's, I think he's performed really well as a coach. Not just what we've seen on the field, but the way he's handled the, the heat and the scrutiny this year. I think he's done a, done a great job this year. But, but last year is, is ultimately the year that, that has ended up costing him. And you, know, you, you mentioned before, you didn't think that the trigger of winning a final was a realistic goal. Well, that was at the end of 2017. That's right. So when the, when the trajectory had been, you know, improvement, improvement, 12 wins ninth, 11 wins just miss out. You know, you have that big win against Richmond and, and then lose four of the last five. So the trajectory was suggesting that two years later, it was winning realistic. the final was yeah. realistic. Yeah. And it was a critical piece of insurance to, to extend the contract. You had to insure yourself to make sure that what ended up happening yeah. didn't happen. So the question yeah. is, is, is this the wasted year? Well, Do you think if they had their time again... They would go. They would have gone with Richardson into this year. Well, in in hindsight, of, of, you know, of course you can say that. Um, you know, in terms of the in terms of the trigger for this year, they were never going to hit it this year with everything that's occurred this year. So so last year becomes a year that that hurts because you know, this this was unprecedented this year. No one could have predicted. You know, four time best and fairest not playing. Jack Stephen, Carlisle out for the majority. Your number your big recruit Hanbury not playing. Your number one draft pick. Might not, not play. 